hello my dear friends uh, just i am going to introduce next topic uh, which is uh, for you people as scl activity for going to uh, that just i want to tell you how to find arc of length or length of arc so there is one rule for uh, uh, doing or uh, answering arc of length arc length formula for the length of a smooth curve is given by l times a to b definite integral square root of 1 plus dy dx whole square into dx what is that means that means y is equal to if y is equal to fx function is given then we need to find the dy dx substitute there and use the limit which is given and integrate it simplify it whatever you have that is your answer for that purpose i am picking one example that example is find the length of curve y equal to 1 by 3 x square plus 1 to the power 3 by 2 from x is equal to 0 to uh, 3 so just i am going to write all information the length of arc formula is l times definite integral from a to b is square root of 1 plus dy dx whole square into dx it means that when we need to write all information here so a and b means limit limit is this one that means here a is equal to given 0 means lower limit and b upper limit is given 3 this is a, a and this is b now second point is how to find dy dx that means dy dx is this from this we can so for that just i want to write dy dx from the given function from the given function so when i check that one y is given here 1 by 3 x square plus 1 to the power 3 by 2 what we have to do from this given function or this relation or this equation we need to write dy dx so dy dx means differentiating it with respect to x so dy dx equal to 1 by 3 and the power that means 3 by 2 x square plus 1 power 3 by 2 minus 1 that means d dx of x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1 and then inside that bracket that means 2x now check that one i can cancel this it means that one the value of the dy dx from this function is half into x square plus 1 3 by 2 minus 1 that means 3 minus 2 that means 1 by 2 multiplied by 2x we can cancel again this one so this is our dy dx value dy dx is x times x square plus 1 to the power half parallelly i need dy dx whole square so what we have to do just dy dx square it so dy dx square is x square and because of this is root covered already so square root will deleted so it comes this one so if i simplify it i got this term as x to the power 4 plus x square this is your dy dx value now see that one when i check that i need a value i need b value b means upper limit is given here a means up lower limit which is given here i need dy dx whole square dy dx is x to the power 4 plus 1 now just replace and calculate what is the answer of length of arc so length of arc means l length of arc means l equal to from limit a to b that means a is 0 b is 3 is square root of 1 plus dy dx whole square that means x to the power 4 plus x square 
x to the power 4 plus x square into dx x is to the power 4 plus sorry my dear friends actually uh, here when I check that one calculation is not correct that means question is here x plus 2 not x plus 1 it is x plus 2 so just need here in place of this one it is 2 so when I check that one it is coming to here also 2 here also 2 here also 2 here also 2 so it is coming as x to the power 4 plus 2x square when I got that it is 1 plus x to the power 4 plus 2x square so when I calculated that one it is coming as L times 0 to 3 this is 1 plus x to the power 4 plus 2x square that means we can write it as 1 plus x square to the power 2 and square root so this and this cancel into dx why I am putting here because of if it is given here 1 then you cannot solve it means question becomes difficult so that's why I am using here 2 so now clearly it is it seems that one here 2 to cancel so square root cancel so if it is a square root cancel now I can evaluate this integration easily now evaluate this one term by term that means integrate it so integration of 1 is x plus integration of x square is x power 3 by 3 and then use the limit so when you use the limit this will come L equal to L means length of arc is now x is equal to 3 plus 3 power 3 means 27 by 3 minus x is equal to 0 plus 0 so that means it means that L becomes 27 divided by 3 means 9 plus 3 that means 12 units 12 unit this is the answer of that question in continuation of that I am picking another example that if fx is equal to 3x to the power 2 by 3 minus 10 find the length of the graph uh, of the function not graph of the function f from the point a to is 8 comma 2 to b 27 comma 17 so again if I want to write that we need to write all information L is length of arc equal to square root of definite integral 1 plus dy dx whole square into dx now here I am going to check what is a a means limit of x so x is equal to 8 that means a sorry a is equal to lower limit is 8 and b upper limit is 27 so now I need the d by dx that means we can change fx as y 3 times x power 2 by 3 minus 10 now I am going to write the differentiation so d by dx is 3 times 2 by 3 x to the power 2 by 3 minus 1 because of this is constant so its derivative is 0 so 3 3 cancel so the value of d by dx is 2 times x to the power 2 minus 3 that means minus 1 by 3 so we can write it 2 divided by x to the power 1 by 3 plus now this is the answer of d by dx but I do not need d by dx I need d by dx whole square so no problem I can write d by dx whole square so the uh, d by dx whole square is 4 divided by x to the power 2 by 3 square of that one so 2 power 2 means 4 x to the power 1 by 3 means 2 by 3 this is the value of this now I want to calculate all the things in terms of length of arc so length of arc means I need a a is given here this point B is given this point and 1 plus d by dx whole square is this one so that length of arc now I can calculate L equal to is 
integration definite integral from limit a to b that means 8 to 27 into square root of 1 plus d by dx whole square that means 4 divided by x to the power 2 by 3 dx now just simplify when I try to simplify it comes L equal to definite integral from the limit a to 27 this will come here so it becomes a square root of x to the power 2 by 3 plus 4 divided by x to the power 2 by 3 dx now we can simplify it by using a square root term if I simplify this will come as this form that means L equal to from the limit A to 27 square root of 2 by 3 plus 4 divided by x to the power 2 by 3 and this is square root already so we can cancel this so now this we can write it L equal to definite integral from a to 27 square root of 2 by 3 plus 4 divided by x to the power 1 by 3 dx now see that one if I use integration by substitution method we will get the answer of this one that means put here x to the power 2 by 3 plus 4 is equal to u and differentiate it so we will get 2 by 3 x to the power 2 by 3 minus 1 and differentiation of 4 is 0 dx equal to du that means we can simplify next also 2 by 3 x to the power 2 by 3 means minus 1 by 3 dx is equal to du or another step we can write it 2 divided by x to the power 1 by 3 dx is equal to 3 du or we can see that one see in the integration it is x to the power 1 by 3 that means dx divided by that means in place of dx divided by 1 by 3 we can use in place of this that means dx divided by 1 by 3 dx divided by 1 by 3 we can replace another step we can replace another step dx divided by x to the power 2 by 3 is 3 divided by 2 du so now the original length of curve r is coming now 8 to 27 and square root of 2 by 3 plus 4 I am using u so it is coming u power half and dx divided by see that one dx divided by x power 3 is 3 by 2 du so keep outside 2 by 3 so therefore length of r becomes 3 by 2 from a to 27 u power half into du now we can easily integrate it now we can easily integrate this one by using just integration so l equal to 3 by 2 u power half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 and the definite integral result a to 27 and remember that one I am not uh, changing the limit here because of after getting final answer I will replace u is equal to this part so therefore after that one L equal to 3 by 2 this becomes u power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 and limit is a to 27 
or we can write it L equal to we can write it L is equal to L equal to 3 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 3 u power 3 by 2 from the limit a to 27 this 2 to this 3 3 cancel now change the u value so u is u is our x power 3 by 2 plus 4 x power 3 by 2 plus 4 to the power 3 by 2 and limit from a to 27 now use the limit and write the final answer l equal to x means here means replace upper limit means upper limit is 27 so 27 power 3 by 2 plus 4 power 3 by 2 minus x is equal to 8 8 power 3 by 2 plus 4 power 3 by 2 simplify it you will get the answer l equal to 27 power 3 by 2 calculate the value of that one you will get the answer of this question in terms of numerical form so just use your calculator and write that one so you will get the answer of that one just use calculator of that hopefully you people understand this question